Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about how to prep your hair if you're coming in to get it done for either a wedding or a special event. I'm going to tell you the best ways to prep your hair to give you the best results when you come into the salon to have your hair done. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you come into the salon with clean, dry hair. It's going to take us a lot longer time and we'll throw off the timing for your event, getting your hair done for your event if you come in with wet hair and we have to blow dry it first. The hair also needs to be clean because that's going to give us the best result for what you want to do. If the hair is too oily, sometimes it can be extremely difficult to build volume if you're looking for a style that has a lot of volume in it. So the best thing you can do to help your stylist out is to the day before you come in to get your hair done, you're going to make sure that you cleanse your hair really well. So that's going to look like you shampooing your hair, scrubbing the scalp very well all around, especially concentrating around the hairline and areas in the crown where it tends to get a heavier buildup of oils and sweat in the hair. Then you're going to rinse really well and you're going to shampoo again. So we're gonna do two really good scalp scrubs to clear everything out of your hair and get that out of the way. And then when you apply your conditioner, you're only gonna be applying your conditioner through the ends of the hair. You're not going to put any of that towards the scalp because again, that's going to make it much harder to build volume and fullness in your style. So the next thing you're going to do is part your hair wherever you want it to be for the style that you're having for the event. It's extremely difficult to move apart once the hair has dried in that position. So help yourself and your stylist out a little bit. And if you want your hair to be parted off to the left side, then part it that way after you wash it and dry it that way. If you want to part it to the right, do it that way. Same thing if you want to center part. It's going to set you and your stylist up for the best success for your finished style. Going along with that, the other thing we want to avoid doing before we come in for to have our hair done for the event is wearing our hair in a tight ponytail or bun. Either one of those is going to really push the hair flat and cause unnecessary crimps in the hair that it's going to be harder for us to get out of when we want to do your style when you come into the salon. Okay, so my next two tips are going to be for you naturally curly girls. And the first one is if you have naturally curly hair and you want to wear your hair in its natural curly state, you're going to come in with your hair on its best curl day. So for some of us, that's day one. Our hairs look the best on day one. Our curls are great. For some of us, that's day two after a wash. Sometimes like we like our curls need to kind of settle in a little bit um, after having washed it. So if it's day two or day one, whatever day that looks like for you and however you style it to get your best day curls, that is how you want to come into the salon for the day that you're having your event done. If need be, we can touch up some of your curls with an iron that will mimic your curl pattern, but it gives us the best foundation for success if you come in with your best day curls already styled. On the other side of that, if you have naturally curly hair, but you do not want to wear your natural curl and you're looking for a smoother, sleeker, finished look, then what you're going to do is follow the cleansing steps from the earlier tip I put in here, and you're going to blow dry your hair out smooth, but I want you to make sure you do not put a flat iron to it or put any oils in it afterwards. If you flat iron your hair before you come in for a style and you wanna have any kind of bend or curl in it, it makes it that much more difficult for us to achieve that look. And if you put any heavy oils in the hair, again, that's gonna be hard for us to build volume and work the style in the way that we need to the day you come in. So you'll wash your hair, blow dry it smooth, and then just leave it be, and that'll be perfect. So all of these are the tips that I give my brides and people coming in for wedding styles or special event styles. If you have any questions about what you need to have done to your hair or how you should come in for your hair before your event, I would recommend reaching out to your stylist and asking them what their preference is. We all have slightly different preferences for that, but these tips will give you the best result no matter who you're getting to get your hair done with. I hope this helps and I'll see you on the next one.